Alright everybody, now all we have to do is just go to Namek and kill Frieza with the spirit bomb. Until he comes back with mechanical parts. Oh shit, yeah, he does, there is armor in Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I prefer I him wearing the armor than him being normal. Okay, so before Sword and Shield came out, there was a rumor that armored evolution was going to be a thing because of that Mewtwo movie leading up, and I was like... Man, I wish that was real. Instead so of it would have been Armor Digivolve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Giga Max and. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I, no, I like my Kaiju's. Thank you very much. I, no. Listen, I, I, situational nah. Kaiju's. Okay. Look, when you the have is kind of lame. When you have Mega Evolutions, the best, the logical step is Armor Evolution. Okay. I mean, I think the logical stuff is just Gojira. I feel like well, you can o that you can only do in England because of the fucking alien. Yeah. I mean, I mean, at least that's their excuse so why it'll never come back if the, for reasons. It, it's kind of like with Z moves because you can only do in Hawaii. Well, yeah, because the Tapus power that. Yeah. It, the, the, the only. Thing... I don't. I don't mind that. Yeah. The only thing that I still find BS is no Mega Evolutions because that was a huge part of their marketing for like how many years? Six? I mean that's true, but it's a, it's like Anthony said, you want half the fucking meta to be a bunch of fucking Gengars and Kangaskhans? Well, maybe that's why they should balance it. What they did? That's what, like they they made maybe they it should so make more Mega Evolutions so everyone that's can. That's not gonna have... balance the ones that are already too good. <laughs> yes, it can. No, it can't. If if Mega no. Kangaskhan did one <laughs> and then half the damage, and then they nerfed it to do one and then a quarter of the damage and it wasn't enough, then they'd have to just get rid of that whole ability. There's no way maybe, to, maybe, to handle maybe, maybe individual they should, Pokemon. Maybe they should have planned that out before giving tar Charizard and Mewtwo two Megas. That's not... They're, <laughs> that's not, they're the not even... Yeah, that's not the problem. They're not even that busted. Yeah. So this is Look, probably the all most I'm just saying is other general other starters should have had megas, and the fact well, I mean yeah, and the yeah. fact that the gigantamaxing for your starters in Gen Eight were locked behind DLC is kind of stupid. It, yeah. uh they're not. They were locked behind an update. Oh really? I thought, yeah, I thought yeah. you had to get yes. them through the island no. of armor. No, nope. no, 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 can no. do it. Oh, okay. Ooh! Yeah, right on. That's good. So, uh, this is... This is Cerulean Cave. Use this Iron is Tail! Much where you can... <laughs> yeah. This is where you can find the strongest Pokemon in the game. Um, Ditto. this is also probably the most diverse you can find. Because between, uh, red, blue, yellow, fire red, and leaf green, and I guess by extension, let's go... Uh, you can catch like Raichu, Chansey, Rhydon, Ditto, uh, Victory Bell, Dodrio, uh, Sandslash, Gyarados. There's a bunch of Pokemon you can find here. Can you find my dad? Deep. I was waiting for that. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured, slowing. oh, it's Rhydon. I might as well just catch Rhydon. I'm like, oh, I couldn't catch Rhydon. Fuck. Come on. She has saved your ultra rolls. I have like 99. That's okay. Rhydon's almost dead. Yeah, but now I'm thinking, oh fuck, Rhydon's starting to get a little aggressive. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, Bye! Lame. You should have you committed commit to the capture. But the one thing that is very interesting about this dungeon is that in every single version of gen of every single version that the cerulean cave is in this is a different format uh between well uh so between red and green red and blue uh fire red and leaf green which are based off of red and green yellow Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Let's Go, every single map layout of this cave is completely different. Really? Hence why it's called the Unknown Dungeon. 
Huh. So I'm usually more familiar with like uh, red, green, and blues layout because I play that more. So I actually got a little bit mixed up trying to find Mewtwo. Hmm. So, what was your first experience like when you first fought Mewtwo? I never Honestly, did. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm trying to remember how I even figured out how to fucking get here. I'm assuming one of my cousins probably showed me, and then I just, you know, kept repeating it on my own. I let the game to my friend after I beat the Elite Four during the summer. He, he got... No, no, before summer vacation, I lent the game to my friend, so he just pretty much did that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think my cousins figured it out, and then they showed me. And then I did it by myself in yellow. Mm hmm But what, what, you don't recall what was, like, you know, first, you know, battling him? Uh, I probably threw, I probably just threw the Master Ball. Hmm. Or I probably just kept throwing Ultra Balls, or just killed him. Probably killed him. You probably killed him. No, you got just fucking big, big ass motherfucker here, just one shotting all my Pokemon. You're scary. Speaking of, oh, there he is. It's time. There's Grandpa. Oh, good. I'm glad that Pikachu's out first. So he can be the Death Water. Great. Oh well, yeah. Do help me. <laughs> do I be you? What an interesting so sprite that is. Oh, Pikachu, boy. fulfill your you know, destiny. You know, maybe Terran should have owned pets. I, I've had pets. I have one right now. Yeah, he's got rain, remember? I, I miss Let's yeah, go. I know. Man. I got Maybe he should have. Uh, I'm disappointed cool. you didn't do the melee one. Or... That is the melee yeah, one. Is. That's That's from Brawl. Mewtwo wasn't in Brawl! Oh, yeah. like the, 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 what's it called? The, the footstock image that looked like from Brawl. But he, like, he photoshopped. Now this is a good All remix. Right. This is from Origins. This is basically what I consider Mewtwo's theme. Pretty kick-ass. Now is Jeb gonna do the whole, the, the whole work? Of course he is. Ah, uh, I, act I actually don't remember, but considering he's a special tank, most likely. Although, this is when I realized, fuck, me too as Swift. Swift is normal. Mm -hmm. But this is Mewtwo, and in every single carnation that you fight him in, he has Psychic, Barrier, Swift, and Recover. And that's all he fucking needs. Yeah. Also, I hate this sprite, because he's just fucking pelvic thrusting. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he's that. powerful. So, the the great thing about status effects is that usually you think, oh, if I put the Pokemon to sleep, paralyze it, burn it, freeze it, uh, or poison it, it'll make it easier to catch. Yeah. Well, that usually does work, but if you're playing Generations 1 or 2... The only way you increase the catch rate is if you put the Pokemon to sleep. No other status effect will work. Wow. The plus side with Gen 1 is that the Pokemon needs to waste their turn to wake up. Yeah. So Mewtwo's, he's getting down there. Yeah, he's yeah, just he, he just wants to fucking... Head. He's Yeah, he's snoozing. He's like, fuck this, I don't care. You know, it'd be ironic if you cut him in half with Razor Leaf. Well, Razor Leaf's always critical in this game. No, I know, I'm just saying because of the animation and, you know, how Frieza gets chopped up in half. <laughs> Daddy woke up. Good. You know what you need to do now? Toxic Leech Seed. Uh, the plan is to catch Mewtwo. Unfortunately, I waste the Master Ball on Zapdos, so. Moron. Nah, uh, I got it. Let's go. Okay. Bro, okay, that, did, that didn't work. That, that was a Morgan. Going twice. There we go. Wow. Uh, okay. I was expecting <laughs> three or four times, music. but all right. What just happened? He, uh, I think. Get 
me an instant replay. Super slow motion. This was literally the third ball that I threw. Should have been using I did, balls. I did no editing. Well, except here. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. That's... Yeah, you did it. Wow. That's all you can do in Gen 1. That's the post game. Congrats. Congrats. You did it. But yeah, that was Pokemon Yellow. Huh. Probably a game that I won't touch for a very long time. Because when I'm playing Gen 1, I'm going back to Fire Red and Leaf Green. Well, turns. Yeah. We know. Actually, let's do the final thoughts. You go first since you record. Well, it's like I said. Gen 1 is a game that if you want to play it, I recommend Fire Red or Leaf Green. If you really want to play it, you can play Let's Go, but it's, from my opinion, it's, it's not the same. But, obviously, Pokemon completely destroyed expectations when it came out. And... Whenever we get to Crystal, I'll try to make that game look as best as I can, but I love Gen 2, but even that game has its problems. Not before me and Marcos do it. What? You know, maybe I should... Wait, what Pokemon game did I play again where I was level grinding? Uh, Sword much Shield, said... X and Y. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the one that pissed you fuckers off the most while I was playing the game. Sword, sword, and sword and Shield, X no, no, and Y. No, before that. No, before that. Em Ruby? Emerald. Emerald. Ruby. Okay, might have been Emerald. Yeah, see. Terrence, it no. was Emerald. Yeah, maybe I should replay Emerald. Do a little level grind. I'll invite Jover for gen. that one. That's going to be if, nice. if, you're, if you're going to do that, that that's that's the penalty. So, so That's nice. the trade-off. <laughs> Kill yourself. Got him. Oh. Damn. The guy was so... Okay. Uh, but yeah, that was Pokemon Yellow. That was it. Yeah. Uh, your, your thoughts, Anthony? Um, I like Gen 1. I've never had a problem with it. I, I... I don't know. I like all the Pokemon games. I never get into, like, critiquing how much they should have changed something or, like, if I did or didn't like a part of it. I don't know. It was kind of nice to go back through and watch all these battles, and you know, now that I hate Cloister and Shelter because they're not purple, <laughs> you know, it's just like a nice little, nice little jaunt through memory well, lane, you know. It's well, nice. you know what, Anthony? You can you can uh, play Pokemon Blue version, and you know what? They'll be blue in that game. <sighs> but if they're green, they would die. Actually, in the green version, they're red. Ba -da 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 -da. Wow. Wow. Who would have thunk? But I mean, I, I do, I do agree with what Anthony's saying because I, at the end of the day, I don't really, as much as I shit on Diamond and Pearl, uh, I don't like hate Platinum. There isn't, there isn't a Pokemon game that I hate, mainline anyway. You know, every Pokemon, every Pokemon mainline game has their strengths and weaknesses. Whether it's not in the video game or from an outside source, like the anime, the TCG, uh, any other collectible stuff. A every generation has their strengths and weaknesses. I feel like, I, and I don't like using this as a term, but I feel like Pokemon is, as an experience, it is, it's an experience per se. Because it's, it's literally a world that it's created for itself. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it, that's what pulls you into it. I would say it's like a Disney cult, but it, not as creepy because I've seen a lot of people that are. Yeah, I'm Disney sure people and... aren't getting annoyed to go to the Pokemon Center during a pandemic. I mean, you can go to Nintendo World. It's not the same, no, no, but. No, I don't, whatever. Marcos, we'll thoughts? cross that bridge when we get to it. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts? No, me. Mm hmm. Uh, but like I said beforehand, I, uh, have fond memories of Pokemon Yellow, uh, but, you know, if I were to definitely play, you know, Gen 1, I'd definitely go to just Fire Red and Leaf Green, because 
just so much fucking better. That, that pretty much all I have to say. As for me, I feel like, wow, this game looks dated, and I, like everyone else, I would rather just go back to Leaf Green or Fire Red, whichever one suits my mood. I do. I don't hate this game, but I do respect what it did for the for, for gaming as a whole. So I can't really say it's bad. So yeah. And since we covered one anniversary game, Mark Terrence, I think it's time for you to do the other 25th anniversary franchise game, Crash Bandicoot 2. Oh shit! Crash 2 is 25. Well, no, the Crash as a franchise is 25, but. Oh, okay, but, I was gonna say, fuck me. But it's like, do, do Crash 2. Uh, whatever, it, like you said, whatever fits my fancy. I mean, I, right. it's either that or Banjo. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing Zelda 1, so... I mean, that's yeah, your yeah, that's, decision. That's, that's your problem. But because it's a, it's the anniversary. Again, as that's far as problem. we're aware right now, this is the last video that we're uploading. So whatever happens after this, or before this, uh, I guess you'll have to find out next time. And Anthony, when thank we... you for being here. Oh, thanks for letting me come on, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. I, I just like talking to you, Anthony. Aww. I like everybody else more than you, Tans. <sighs> thank Aww, you. Aw, that's okay. so sweet of you. <laughs> All right. That's well, a very low bar to achieve, boys. but thank you. Damn. I'm uh I'm gonna go take a shower and cry. But okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Alright, bye. Adios, bye. bye. Pick up e. Welcome home, son. I am Pikachu! You think you're the only superhero in the world? Mr. St Pikachu! You become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Pika Pika! I'm the director of Super Smash Brothers, Masahiro Sakurai. Pika! I'm here to talk to you about. The <laughs>